how are we all today? Um, we're going to go through a home exercise um, routine um, today using um, some hand weights um, and a small towel and a yoga mat to lay on. Um, if you don't have any access to hand weights, you can always use tin food or water bottles. Okay. Um, so what we'll do is we're going to start off with a warm up, which will go for 90 seconds and then we'll move on to the strength component of the exercise and then finish off with some stretches at the end. Okay. So we're just going to start off with a warm up, just with some marching on the spot. Okay. So we'll um, warm up for about 90 seconds. Um, if you feel like that marching on the spot isn't getting the heart rate up and up, you can change that into a jog on the spot as well, like this, okay? And we've got about 45 seconds to go of the warm up. All right, 30 seconds to go. seconds. And we can stop there. Well done. So that's the warm up done. We'll move into the strength um, component of the exercise now. Each exercise will go for one minute and you'll repeat it three times through. But in the video today, we're just going to do one set of each exercise. So what I recommend is that you just pause the video once I've done the exercise and then repeat it another two times through before pressing play again. All right. So we'll start our first exercise in standing. Make sure you have something to hold on to. Okay. We're going to start off with calf raises. So you just rise up and down onto the toes. Now, this is a great exercise to strengthen up through the calf muscles at the back of the legs there. Now, if you're finding that two legs isn't challenging enough for you, you can always go into a single leg calf raise, rising up and down the toes there. But just remember that you've got to do both sides. And we've got 15 seconds left. exercise done. You're going to come onto your back now and we're going to start working on a bit of core. Okay, so laying onto your backs. Alrighty, so this next exercise is called a dead bug. Okay, so you'll start with your knees bent up, feet on the ground and hands by your side. Spend a bit of time to find a neutral spine position. Okay, so just rocking the pelvis away to create a big arch in the back and then just releasing some of that tension off. Okay, and then from here, you're going to float one leg up at a time into a tabletop position, okay? So you'll inhale to prepare, exhale, floating one leg up to tabletop and lowering the leg back down. And remember to incorporate the breathing with the exercise as well. So you want to inhale, prepare, exhale, lifting the leg up to tabletop and then lowering back down. You also want to try and keep your trunk as still as possible, okay? And we've got 20 seconds to go. Four, three, two, and 
one. Well done. Lowering that leg down. Staying in the same position here, we're going to move into our butt lifts, okay? So what you'll do is you'll inhale to prepare the movement, exhale, lifting the bottom up towards the sky, and then lowering back down. Lifting up and lowering down. So this is an exercise to help strengthen up through the glute muscles there. If you wish to make any progressions from here, um, you can pop a TheraBand around the top of the thighs there just to help get the hips working a bit more. Or you can progress to a single leg. So you'll lift one leg up towards the sky and then lifting up and down from there. And we've got 20 seconds to go. So sit up when you're ready. We're going to roll onto our hands and knees into a four-point kneeling position. So you want to make sure that your wrists are under your shoulders and your knees are underneath the hips there. And you're staying nice and long through the back of the neck and then drawing that belly button towards the scar arm towards the spine to engage the core there. So we're going to um, move on to Superman's. Okay, so here we're going to be extending opposite arm with leg. So it'll look something like this. Stretching the arm out in front and then reaching the leg behind. So we'll go for a full minute here. So same with the dead bugs exercise, you want to try and keep your trunk as still as possible. And if you wish to make a progression from here, you can start and lift the back leg up with the arm as well. We've got 30 seconds. Ten seconds to go. Last one there. Well done. Sitting back onto the feet for a moment just to roll out those wrists. Um, so the next exercise are the push-ups, okay? So there's a few options you can take here. Your easier option is to use a bench um, to lean on and you can do your push-ups in standing. The next option is to come onto the knees and then your third option is to come up onto the feet like that, okay? Um, we're going to demonstrate the push-ups on your knees, but feel free to choose either uh, option, okay? So coming onto the knees when you're ready, make sure the hands are about shoulder width apart, tucking your um, tailbone in, okay, so the body stays in a nice straight line. And bending the elbows, making sure they're going out to the sides as you come into your push-up. And remember to incorporate the breathing as well, okay? So you want to inhale to prepare the movement and then exhale as you're coming into your push-up. And we've got 15 seconds to go. Five seconds. Well done. And coming out of that one, grab your hand weights when you're ready and come into standing for your last exercise. So this is an overhead shoulder press, okay? Make sure that you find a weight that you can comfortably lift above the head. And remember the exercise is going for a full minute, so you need to choose a weight that you can lift for a full minute. Oh, I need to check the time. And yep, yeah, sure. And 
and we've got 30 seconds to go. And 10 seconds left. And last one there. Well done. Popping those weights down. So that finishes the strength part of the exercise circuit. Um, we're going to finish off with a cool down and we're just going to run through a couple of stretches. Now I'm not going to hold each stretch for the recommended amount of time, but what I'll get you guys to do is hold each stretch for 30 seconds. Repeat three times and remember to do both sides, okay? So we're gonna start with some shoulder stretches and then progress to leg stretches. So the first shoulder stretch is one for the back of the shoulder. So you bring one arm across the body and you should feel a stretch right through the back of that shoulder there, okay? So that's the first one. Now the next one is a tricep stretch, okay? So you bring the arm above the head this time, hand onto the elbow and then pushing down onto the elbow there and you should feel a stretch through the back of the arm there okay next one coming onto your backs and grabbing your tail straightening one leg up towards the sky and you're going to pull down on your towel and try and straighten your knee and you should feel a stretch all the way through the back of the leg Okay, and that's going to target your hamstring muscles, okay? And we'll take the towel off now. And the next stretch is a glute stretch, okay? So this is an exercise um, to loosen off the hips, okay? So what you'll do is you'll straighten one leg out, bend one knee towards the chest, pop a hand onto the knee, one hand onto the ankle, and then bring in the knee towards the opposite shoulder. So you should feel a stretch right into the glute muscles around the bottom area there. So that's the glute stretch there. And coming into standing when you're ready for the last stretch. Now this is a calf muscle stretch, okay? So you need to find a wall to hold on to, preferably something that's in front, okay? So you put one leg in front, one leg behind. Make sure the toes are pointing directly forward. Then you'll bend your front knee and keep your back leg straight. Now you should feel a stretch right through the back of the calf muscle there, okay? So that's the calf stretch. Perfect, so remember to hold each stretch for 30 seconds and repeat three times through. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's um, little exercise circuit routine and stay tuned for week two.